Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get low Roblox ping. It's really simple, there's going to be a couple methods in this video I'm going to be showing you, all of them are very effective. So if you go through one by one, some of them should work for you and you should be able to get lower ping in the end. So yeah, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so this is the first method I'm going to be showing you. It's called the Roblox ping optimizer. And yeah, so what this does is it basically optimizes your TCP connection to the game, therefore making your ping a lot faster. Um, yeah, so if you want to actually download this, you have to go to the uh, releases here. Roblox Ping Optimizer V.2, just click this. And then you want to click Roblox Ping Optimizer Main V.2.RAR. And then it should download, and I'll show you how to install this. Hello guys, so once you've got it from your downloads, you just want to drag it onto your desktop. It should look like this. If it doesn't, that's fine. You can just right click this and extract it. Click extract. It should open up. You can just click into this file and then it should have the actual main folder so you just want to click the roblox ping optimizer double click now it may pop up with a warning like this or it may say that it protected your pc this isn't a virus you can scan it with your actual virus software it's just i don't have a license and it costs a lot of money so yeah you're gonna just click run and it should open up this and once it closes that means it's actually running on your system and then it will start to work and lower your ping Alright guys, moving on to the second method, you want to go to your Windows search bar, search in Device Manager, open this. Once it's open, click Network Adapters, find your one, right click, Update Driver, search automatically for drivers, and it should update it if you don't have it installed. Now the next method I'm going to be showing you is going back to the Device Manager, and then going to Network Adapters, finding your Network Adapter, going to Properties, and then from here on you want to go to Power Management, and make sure all of these are unticked. I already unticked them obviously, but yeah, you just want to make sure all of these ones are unticked, and this will allow it to basically not turn it off to save power, and have your device Network Adapter working at all times to its maximum efficiency. Hello guys, so I'm going to wrap up the video. Thank you guys for watching, make sure to drop a subscribe if it worked, and comment any problems you have. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.